Hi, I'm Patricia. I just want to say I really admire what you do. Oh, thank you, darling. We're so happy to have you on board. Hey, are you the new girl? I'm Bob. Welcome. Hi, Michael. Pleasure meeting you. No, the pleasure is mine, Betty. We need to take this event to the next level. It's our biggest client, and I need them to sign on for at least another year. Yeah, I'm, I think everyone's working really hard in the office. I'm sure everyone's putting in their A-game. Well, that's good. Guess what just got brought to my table today? A new client contract? My custom-made watch. My initials engraved in it. Wow, that's sparkly and fabulous. Must be expensive. Oh, darling, money begets money. We have to dress the part to attract the big clients. I guess. Which reminds me, I need to send an email to finance. They need to approve my budget and they need to cut me my suit for the event. Well, I need to go back to the office. Laura, I need to speak to you. No. Laura, I need to meet with you about a pressing matter. No. Laura, please accept my resignation. Thanks so much for inviting me to coffee. I could really use a break and step outside the office. Did you order for me? Of course, pumpkin spice. I remembered. It's your favorite. So, how is everything? How's Emily and the kids? So my manager is expecting someone to take initiative and I stepped up to the plate for this new project. I realized my team is missing some synergy, and I realized I need to delegate. I saw that mock-up you made for that video that went viral last month. Very impressive. You've got some real talent. I want to think outside the box, and I think it would be a win-win situation if you helped me with this project. So what do you say? I know you aren't too busy right now, Oh shit, I gotta go. You got the rest, right Natasha? Thanks, you're the best. It went well, I'm glad it's over, but I'm going to miss you. Smiley face emoji, crying face emoji. It's not going to be the same without you. Heart emoji. Can we s still go out for drinks like usual? Question mark. Champagne glass emoji. Oh my god. Yeah, of course you can come, but I don't know if you'll want to. They just told everyone what you said about our boss in your exit interview. Shocked and surprised emoji. What the fuck? Question mark. Are you serious? Question mark. Helga came out of their office and told everyone within earshot that you're a bitch who shouldn't have said those things about the boss. I can't believe you did this to me. I trusted you and you crossed the line. I feel very attacked. You should be ashamed of what you said about your boss, my best friend. I'm just going to level with you, Michael. Some of your coworkers are uncomfortable with some of your behavior here in the office. I'm assuming you know what I'm referring to. 
no, no, what are you talking about? You play music at your desk. You apply lip gloss sometimes when you should be working. How frequently are you taking smoke breaks? How often do you talk about your coworkers behind their backs? I don't understand. You know the caliber of work that I deliver here on a regular basis. I give 110% all the time. My last project here netted us more profit in two weeks than anyone else has since this magazine began. Who cares if I'm applying lip gloss? This is fashion magazine. No, 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 no need to get hysterical. You're getting upset. I think the best course of action here is for you to take some time off. Two weeks should be enough for you to adjust, think about your attitude. We'll be here when, when you get back. Time off, like a vacation. Unfortunately, any vacation hours you've accrued will not be applicable for this break. I'm losing my wages for two weeks? How can you do this to me? How can you listen to people's rumors about me? No one will ever love you like Fashion Magazine loves you. Getting a response within an hour. Putting 110% into making a vision a reality. Relying on someone unconditionally, knowing they won't back down on their word. Honesty. It's a journey. I tend to trust people by default, and you have to really do something to lose it. Trust is the foundation of any relationship, work and personal. Having full confidence that everyone on the team is looking towards the same goal. The absence of suspicions about intentions. <laughs>